Well, good morning, everybody, wherever you may be across this beautiful blue green globe of ours. Welcome to Real News Live. This is a Tell the Truth Wednesday. I'm your host, Mike Barra. Um, putting out the Manchester City vibes. They're playing in the champion in a meaningless Champions League game right now. But uh, on a wonderful Tell the Truth Wednesday from Las Vegas, Nevada, joined as I always am by my uh, lovely co-host, the lovely lady with the lustrous hair, Jennifer Falag Doreen in Hey Idaho. Jen, are you feeling better than you felt on Monday? I am absolutely feeling better. I took the Ivan and it went away. That's right. Thanks to the Ivan. So, okay, a couple of things I wanted to uh, get started with. Um, a couple days ago on the show, I think we talked about my missing glasses. So here's the story. Saturday uh, morning, I got up and I got up kind of early. I've been having a lot of sinus problems. I am on steroids. So if I get mean today, it's the steroids. I actually got super mean yesterday to the Costco at Costco to the lady at the prescription pet counter where I was going to pick up my steroids, right? <laughs> and I'm like, well, no, it was, I already had my steroids. I was picking up another medication. And I had to go back and apologize to her. I said, look, I'm sorry. It's the steroids. I'm not usually this much of an asshole. I'm usually Give an me my steroids. <laughs> I'm not this much of an asshole. So I apologize. Well, anyway, get up Saturday morning. Nothing to do. No live streams. I'm farting around. I'm playing some Panzer Corps. You know, I have my bagel, but I'm like, oh, this is my last bagel. Well, I should go to Einstein Brothers Bagels and pick up some more because I like to get a dozen and then you freeze them. And then when you microwave them, they're just as fresh as if they just came out of the oven, right? So for the next 12 days, I can enjoy delicious bagels in the morning. And please, nobody tell me not to eat bagels. Nobody, you know. Oh, my. I mean, <laughs> when I say I'm on steroids, I get like 50 people talking. Oh, steroids will just do, do this and it'll do that and it'll ruin this. And it's like, okay, I know. I'm not going to take them every day for the rest of my life. Anyway. So it's, it's, it's like seven in the morning. It's not even, it, it, they open at six. I'm like, okay, it's seven in the morning. So all I've done is I've been in my bedroom. I've been in the bathroom. I've been in this office. And I went into the kitchen briefly to make my bagel and get some Dr. Pepper. So the, Dr. Pepper should freaking sponsor this show. So I go walking out to the car. I get into the airlock there outside the front door. And I'm thinking, oh, oh, wait, do I have my phone and do I have my glasses? Oh, there's my phone. Oh, no, I don't have my glasses. Oh, well, I must have left them inside. And these are my these are my uh, TV watching and reading glasses for my cell phone. Okay, these are my computer glasses. They are separate. They're different. I don't have them. I'm like, okay, fine. I come back. I can't find them. I start looking for them. I can't find them. I look in my bed. I can't find them. Where was the last place I remember having them? I remember having them. In bed, I was wearing them in bed, reading my phone before I got up about 5.30 or 6 in the morning. And then I remember coming in with my breakfast and setting my phone down here in front of the microphone and my glasses in their little white glasses case right on top of it. So I looked in the bedroom. I looked in the bathroom. I looked in this office. I looked in the living room which I never went into. I looked in the kitchen. I looked everywhere upside down. Jen says, well, I kind of see that maybe they were, you put them down like next to a TV tray. And cause you know, you could see the TV, there were TV trays in the house, even though you've never been in the house. And I'm like, that one, Matt, that makes sense. Went and looked nothing. Anyway, um, actually it was Monday. I got, I heard from my friend, Sonia Grace. Now Sonia is also psychic, but she's different than you. She does different things. And one of the things she's really good at is finding stuff. And I, I said, you know, Sonia, do you see these glasses anywhere? Did I just miss them? And she's like, um, aliens took them. They also took your passport, by the way, Mike. They have your passport and they have your phone and your glasses. And I said, okay, make them give them back. And she goes, okay. So she made them give them back. And she goes, okay, I'm done. I'll drop them into your house. You'll find them soon. And I'm like, okay, great. So then after that, you told me to look and I still looked and everything. So anyway. I looked around for the next day. I didn't see him. Didn't find him. Still looking for him on Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah. Anyway, all day Monday, part of the day Tuesday. Tuesday morning, I, I get up uh, to go to get breakfast. I think I was getting breakfast yesterday morning. And I go out to the garage and I remembered, oh, or actually I just brought Barkley back from his walk. And I'm like, oh, I got to unplug the Christmas lights because I plug them in inside the garage, right? I got to unplug them for the day. And I go to cut across in front of the car 
and there is the glasses case. It wasn't this one. It was white. The glasses case and the glasses are sitting right in front of me, right between the car and the wall. They were not there on Saturday when I lost them. They were not there on Sunday. They were not there on Monday. I am positive of this because I know one thing. I never took those glasses into that garage the day that I lost. Did you put them in your pocket? Nope. Do you unplug the Christmas lights daily? Yep. They were not in the, first of all, okay, so I had these glasses on Saturday morning. I went to go to the car and I did not have them with me. I did not have a coat on. All I had on was a long sleeve shirt and my pockets and my sides. I checked both pockets and my sweats. They were not in there. They were in this house somewhere. Yet there they were. So the aliens, <laughs> she made the aliens drop them and they were like, where are we going to drop them? Oh, let's fuck with them. Let's put them in the garage. Because he knows he was never in the garage with them. Anyway, I got my glasses back. But I don't know. You got any thoughts on any of that, Jen? I'm just curious. Well, I think that's quite interesting. And we should discuss that. You know, if you've got aliens abducting you and taking your glasses. Um, well, and did you I tell my... Sonia? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I told no? Sonia. I, I sent her a picture and I said I was never in the garage with those glasses that day. The last place the glasses were was in this house and they were not in my pocket. So, and, and I didn't walk in front of the car that way before I left, <laughs> before I realized my glasses were missing. You did so, move to Vegas. Aliens like Vegas. Aliens apparently like Vegas. I love That's the desert. Story. All right. Um, I just think it's really funny. And now you fuck. It. Oh, and then the, and then the night before, um, what was it? I posted on, um, uh, I posted on Facebook. Uh, let's go to it. Where is it? Where is it? I posted on Facebook. I want these. I had a pic. It was a picture of me with the glasses on. And I said, I want these glasses back, you alien fucks. And the next morning, there they are sitting in the garage. And I, you know, again, I drive into that garage four or five times. They were not sitting there. I would have seen them sitting there when I pulled into the garage five or six times. Before that. They weren't there. I want to ask so, you something. Does your butt hurt? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We only have Jen till 11 o'clock tonight. So we got I'm going to mess with you so forever. We, 45 minutes. we want to get to some news and some questions. And then we're going to get to your questions for about 30 minutes before we let her go. So, Jen, let's do an update on um, on the Gentel from the other day. Because there's a couple of questions. We still don't know anything about what the Pan Pacific thing. Is that still strong with you? The Pan Pacific wording, something's going to happen with that. Okay. Um, that was something that I heard him say, but I wasn't getting the whole everything of the, he right. was saying. It was coming in and out. He said Pan Pacific. Um, and in that same conversation, I heard instrument. There was some kind of agreement. Um, then we started talking about tier four has begun. Could take a week to get notifications. The goal is to have them out by the end of this week. Mm -hmm. um, there was a delay waiting for a transaction to fund. It has funded and is not a problem no. now. And yeah. um, it was funding to banks was what he said. Right. Okay. So I asked Mark about the Pan Pacific thing. He didn't get any, he didn't know anything about it. Um, let's ask this question. Are we still on track for tier four this week? Or has there been a glitch or delay or anything? Tier four has started. About tier four B. Approximately, he said. There has been a slight delay, but still approximately, you know, whether it's Friday or Monday. Still approximately this week. Okay. Approximately. Okay. Gabriel also said Donald Trump will make the call. He will decide when to pull the actor Biden out because of illness. The plan is to do this in the coming week. That's this week. Is it still planned for Biden to be removed because of illness this week?
the coming week would probably be next week. You think so? Okay, I thought I thought that meant this coming week that we're experiencing. So it'd be now. this week, and then we have the coming week. So the week that's coming. Okay, that is kind of next a Middle week. East way of saying. It. Okay, so in the next two weeks, is it still the plan to remove him? Yes. Due to illness. I would put it at about the twenty first. Underway. Interesting. 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 Because Wolvie did Wolvie did a um, uh, audio stream on his uh, on his Telegram yesterday. Do you remember what he said? Did you hear what he said? No, I didn't get it. He said, "I talked. I talked to the biggest bit whale in the world. Whales are being people like Donald Trump, who have thirty five million dollars worth of Iraqi dinar, that kind of thing." And he said, this guy is a bigger whale than Donald Trump. Um, and I asked him what was happening and how it was going. And he said to Wolvie, this is apparently face-to-face -face or something like that, because Wolvie was talking about being in a meeting or over the phone. He said, you guys are going to have a great Christmas. Well, uh, the coming week would probably end on Friday the 22nd if Joe Biden were to be out of the White House as of Friday the 22nd. It'd be a pretty fucking great Christmas, wouldn't it? It'd be interesting. So I think that's yeah. an interesting, interesting connotation. Notifications so, uh, would be better. But notifications <laughs> would be better. Uh, we also know we also know that uh just cancel the debt and we can wait another couple of weeks. Well they all but they basically come at the same time. That was previous Gentile, which is that collapse, removal, RV. Okay. So well uh, anyway, pretty interesting stuff. Okay. So um, the cancellation of the debt really comes when we switch over to the gold back dollar and our note mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because they're those dollars the way, and you old... can't pay back the loans because they're in dollars. Right. All your old fiat currency debts are just wiped clean. It's going to start with the debt jubilee. I mean, they're all just numbers on a book anyway. So, all right. Um, I guess that's all the questions I have for right now. Why don't we roll out to the folks and get some questions in with them. We got quite a bit of time we have. Let's see how many people. Uh, uh, we got about um, 600 and some odd people here in the live stream right now, which is pretty good for uh, Tell the Truth Wednesday. Yeah. By the way, uh, by the end of the show, I'm going to um, I'm going to uh, do a live stream tomorrow, a little bit of news, and then we're going to do some health stuff. For your pets, I have a new uh, some new friends who um, Diana, who runs the Christmas House in Boulder City, and uh, Kristen, who are experts on pet health and uh, uh, mushroom based pet treats. Barkley absolutely loves. We're going to be doing a live stream tomorrow, telling you all about that. So I'll try to get you that by the end of the show. So again, if you're going to ask Jen a question about anything, whether it's personal or geopolitical or whatever. It really helps if you have a personal question, especially to get us your real name. We really need is your real name. And did you have something you to add? No, I just had a thought, but it was no, it was wrong. It was wrong. Go ahead, carry on. Okay, so uh, just a reminder that just a reminder that these um, these videos do get taken down almost immediately after they're completed off of YouTube in order to avoid the YouTube censorship, but they are always available over on MikeBarrett.blogspot.com. Here's today's stream running live right now. Here's last night's stream, Toxically Masculine Tuesday with me and Blake and Brooks. Here's the Monday show. Here's the last Tell Truth Wednesday show. All the cool stuff is there. The shows are there. There's links to my books that you can pick up. There are lectures I've done all over at mikebarra.blogspot.com. And these videos link you very directly to the Rumble channel. Here's the Rumble channel over here, Real News Live on Rumble. Please get over to Rumble, open up a Rumble account, which is something you really need to in order to get absolutely truthful information. It's the only platform where you're getting videos um, really getting videos that are actually truthful. You can watch all the shows and you can become a $5 a month subscriber. Over here in the little right-hand corner, there is a little dollar sign. You hit subscribe and for $5 a month, you can contribute to the show. This is the best way to help us financially. Well, that and buying readings from Jen and going to the CBD gurus and then going to the pets health thing that I'm gonna be talking about on uh, tomorrow. 
those are the best ways to help the show. We certainly do appreciate it. But remember, again, we need your first name and the name of the person that you may be asking about. And when you do that, you just hit the subscribe button. You get a little red castle and you get to go first. Your questions get answered first. So we can assure you that you will get answers uh, to your questions on the show. Also, please do not forget to visit our wonderful sponsors, the CBD Gurus, the CBDGurus.com. My friend Angela Reno was just asking about, does anybody know any CBD products that can help my elbow? She's got a real problem with her elbow. Um, interesting. She got a new boyfriend and now she has an elbow problem. Which is what that's all about. But I recommended the X-Freeze, X-Freeze CBD Guru Roll-On Cream. Don't forget, you can go directly to the CBDGurus.com, pick up all kinds of cool products for your health. Go to the wholesale tab, slide down to Mike B. Wholesale, type in the discount code A-L-I-E-N, A-L-I-E-N. The Miracle Gold, the Delta 8 gummies, the immunity formula might be important in the summertime. Uh, their pet treats, and of course, the uh, amazing pajama bottoms, pajama pants, for the ladies over at the CBD Gurus, here are the uh, Bigfoot ones. There's Bigfoot getting abducted by, by a flying saucer, riding the back of the Loch Ness Monster. Very cool stuff. And we also have, what do we have? Multiple other, um, under the um, Mike B. Formal Wear tab, you can also pick up the uh, uh, Whiskey and Wisdom Lounge pants and the Mike B. Mark C. Pajama Bottom. With my face and Mark's face, along with aliens and flying saucers. Those are very popular. Chris, guys, get those for your wife. Absolutely get those for your wife. Okay. Uh, Jen, why don't you tell us going on over at jenniferfalla.com? Okay. Well, uh, Marcy and Susan still have their combos up, but I took mine down. Um, I took the God reading down, the special of the week. You can still get their combos, but I have a 15 minute ask me anything reading up for a limited time. You can get gift cards. Um, this is a cheaper gift. You got more people to give to. Um, go and get them now. I'll think of something else probably for next week, but this is this week's special. And so if you'd like to get a bunch go ahead and use the love button above that that's a donation button um but that's the best thing going on right now of course we still have all the other services we have the hour readings and the half hour readings and the healings and and the classes and all kinds of things there you can go ahead and go to jenniferfalla.com and browse and buy all kinds of stuff good time of year to do it and get over there to jenniferfalla.com because mama hasn't gotten Uncle Mike a uh, Christmas present yet. So we need to make sure that it has the money to indulge. On oh, I got the money, honey. I just don't know what to get you yet. And I haven't done it. And I was sick. And so I'm kind of like, well, you know, I'm stuff. sorry. I already, uh, the, the perfect, the perfect gift actually um, I found, but I already gave it to Dave Barra. It's uh it's German tiger tank slippers from the, the Bovington tank museum in England. So I've got those. So those those are going to be the best possible Christmas presents that I could get. My Tiger Tank slipper, Tiger One Thirty One. There's actually one surviving Tiger One tank. It's Tiger One Thirty One from the German uh, Army. I think it was captured in Tunisia, and I'm going to get those. Slippers. So that's. Uh, I'm sorry, I've already got those. You could get me. Some I've seen things. a few things that you would like, but they're all uh, very vulgar and inappropriate, and so um, I didn't buy them. But there so I'm go. still looking. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I got I got you a massage at a spa last year. You could get yes, I did. I did get the massage. I you did. could get me a massage. Tell you what, I'll I'll send you some links to some massages. Massage That'd be cool. Service. No, Jen, you don't get what I'm saying. No, I get what you're saying. I know some girls in Vegas that will. Give I'm you not biting. That's that's all. <laughs> I'm not biting. That would be inappropriate. Okay, let's start over on the rumble side of the house, and um, I'd like to put these up, but. Uh, not always. The people with the little red castles, they get to go first. We will ask their questions first. Uh, Tamara Pepper's here, big poet. Mike, are you on the mend? Yeah, I, well, I, I did start the steroids, um, big poet, yesterday, and it is making a difference with the inflammation in my head, for sure. Um, and I slept pretty well last night, Jen. I'm surprised how well I slept. Like 20 minutes. On the <laughs> 
You like so, all wound up and have all this energy, um, and I'm it, like, it, yeah. It, it does make me very angry and short tempered, but uh, I am feeling better now. Though, Jen, I need a healing on this tooth back here. There's like action going on. Okay. It's one of the teeth I have to have worked on, but I can't have them worked on until January. So, um, yes, guys, I am definitely feeling better. Um, instrument could mean a financial instrument, Pan, Pan Pacific financial instrument. That's that's interesting, Jen. Instrument, a financial instrument, Big Paul. What do you think about that? That's what it felt like. Like there was some kind of negotiation. There was some kind of some way yeah. that they this was something had to be done. I don't really know. That probably means the um, the value of the Indonesian rupiah, which is one of the currencies that's been possibly. Mentioned. So uh, probably yeah. renegotiate renego renego a rate or something on that. Uh, Tamara, hi guys. Tamara uh, here. As you know, I rescued a kitty that someone dropped off on my street. I have no history of her, especially health history. Can the angels help with that? Thank you. Well, I, what's the kitty's name? We don't know the kitty's name, but can you focus in on Tamara Pepper and her new kitty and see if there's anything she needs to know about the health history with this kitty? Okay, everything I do for health yeah. is with Jesus. So we'll see. Um, could use a wormer if it's old enough. Dewormer, okay. Um, gonna be a big eater. Everything else looks fine. I don't see anything broken. I don't see any major problems. Feed it. Yeah, feed the kitty because it's been abandoned. He needs food. It needs protein, he's saying, because he's showing me like actual pieces of chicken. So, so it needs a lot of protein right now. Awkward silence. Can anybody see me? Okay, so if you can see me, put a uh, comment and chat your ideas for Christmas presents for Mike. That I could get him. Also, Dave. It's Dave. It's my friend, too. Pretty sure Mike's the only one's frozen. He's probably just talking away. It's Mike that's frozen. Yeah. So what should we get him? There we go. <sighs> Fuck Cox Cable. All right. Um, here, let me go back. Um, uh, I was going to tell you, when we found Khaleesi outside. <laughs> um, Do not tempt me. Who said that? Blow up doll? No. You win for today. But I want a full sex bot. I want one of the Japanese. Oh, my God. Ones. You know. He's like, probably like, five. I already have that. I've got they're three only, in the closet. They're only about five grand. <laughs> um, That's hilarious. Uh, With my luck, it'll show up on the internet someday. Oh, Jennifer pur purchased that. What, <laughs> what I was going to say is when we rescued Khaleesi outside my window, she was very malnourished. And once we fed her consistently and got her good food, you know, chicken and beef and stuff like that, she just flourished and her whole face changed. I mean, everything changed about her. So definitely feed that kitty. Feed that kitty good. Okay. Um, Iva Adams, I'm going to guess your first name is Iva. Wants to know, will my little red castle, $5 a month subscriber, get over there and subscribe, please. Will my son Brandon have a safe trip to Connecticut on December 20th? Yes. Iva's son, Brandon. I don't know if Iva's the right yes okay um sarah asking little red <laughs> castle five dollar subscriber thank you sarah here my mom nancy has a lawsuit against her brother steve to get her part of her trust money she is owed do you ever see this lawsuit settling and her getting her inheritance sarah would like who to asked that sarah would like to know about her mom nancy's lawsuit to get the inheritance that she is owed She will be successful with the lawsuit, but will not, the funds are not available or will not receive the funds. 
So problem. Guy already spent them. That's what it looks like. That sucks. Jesus, you know, my cousins stole from each other. And it was just one cousin stole from another. It was just awful. The um, best and the worst come out in people and there's inheritance. Yeah. Hanging. So, out. and remember that too, folks, the best and what Jen just said, the best and the worst comes out in people when it comes to inheritance, when it comes to money. So when this happens and you have money, remember the best and the worst comes out in people. When they know you have money, you got to be careful. Even if they're family, do not trust the be vigilant or you'll get screwed. Um, okay. Uh, Tamara again, Little Red Castle, $5 a month subscriber. Teresa Griffith has a high Intel source. The source told her that December 15th is supposed to be a happy day. Do the angels have any info for something to happen on the 15th? Well, that's Friday, Jen. Do you see anything good, special happening on Friday? I did see it happening on a Friday. I don't know what Friday it is, That's but right. uh, been wrong about several of them. <laughs> um, I do feel good vibe about 15th. I do. I do get a positive vibe about that day. One thing is that that's a day that normally Iraq publishes what they call their Gazette, which is their official law book. And when they publish that, they could have a new RV rated there. It's possible. That would be um, okay. Joanne Patton says Steve is having an ablation on Friday. Will everything go okay? And will he come home the same day? Steve Patton. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Comes home same day. I think <clears throat> it's the same day. No, he comes home. Yeah. Good. Good. Lori Bakemeyer, <clears throat> wonderful contributor. We appreciate you, Lori. Jen, are you going to do, to do the yearly readings again? <sighs> Not to. It's almost January. I have. I've got yearly reading anxiety because of last year and the financial part of it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll do the financial part because everything else seemed to be correct, you know, yep. about people's lives and what they're doing and their jobs and everything else. It's just, it's just this RV thing. But. I saw these big dots. Maybe it was for this year. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do them. Yeah. Um, I'll think out about it now. David Murtos, Little Red Castle, $5 a month subscriber. Jen, will there be a communication blackout in the next two months? Like a total communication blackout with everybody everywhere? Be a little yep. more specific. I don't uh a communication black belt in the last two months okay um angels on 964 little red you castle give me enough time because i'm still trying to get it i'm sorry i can't see your face I have, I'm oh i have to look forward for the next two months okay. um okay. let's see here periodic periodic not all um okay Hey, David Murtos, Little Red Castle, $5 a month subscriber. You're in the club. Je oh, no, we already asked that. Uh, Angel64, Rosemary, uh, what do you see for Mark and I going into the new year? Be more specific, please. There's a lot. Uh, okay. Da, 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 da. Mike's frozen, Mike's frozen. Okay, Tamara again. Juniper is my kitty's name. Yes, she's eating a ton. I ordered a dewormer for her. Thanks for the asking the angel about her. Okay, great. So thank you, Tamara. Feed her protein. Go out and get her some real food. Get her real people food and uh, feed her the good stuff as much as she wants. Yeah, she especially cats. Like Charlie will do that. He'll tell me like normally he doesn't want anything but cat food. But then mm -hmm. when he's looking a little poorly and he's starting to feel bad again, I start the ivermectin again. And then I start giving him uh, like mm -hmm. rotisserie chicken every day. Right. Right. And he wants it. He's like ravenous for it. And then after a while, he doesn't want it anymore. Yeah, because he gets he gets that need fulfilled cravings. Okay, uh, that's going to be it for the Little Red Castle people over on Rumble. Well, maybe there's another Rumble question in here. Um, <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, I don't have a name here, but I saw a video on Telegram from JC Patriot. Don't know who that is. He said, 
The EBS will start within 48 hours. Any thoughts? The EBS will start. Nope. Within Yep, not gonna happen. They're okay. not gonna do the EBS uh, during Christmas time. They're not gonna do it. Yeah. Not gonna screw up everybody's Christmas, and they're not gonna do it and screw up anything financial that's trying to take place. We can't interfere the um, interfere with all those transactions going on with any possible RV. You can't cut the power. You can't cut the internet. You can't. Uh, it's just not a good time. Um, that's going to happen. I always saw that happening. When we start seeing the backlash in the streets, when things start getting really out of hand, boom. Okay. Okay. Um, DS Kimball. Don't know who you are. Um, hi, Mike and Jen. Hope you're both feeling better. Should I open an account with a large bank now or wait until the RV? I have a local bank now. Thanks and have a blessed Christmas. Do you think that's a good idea? You're just gonna have when you get to the RV. I say you've got you've got they'll they'll set up, you know they'll do the exchange and they'll set up your treasury account. Then they will say, okay, here are your choices. You can start up a uh, large account that can hold a large amount of funds as your holding account. I'm calling it a holding account uh, because I don't know what else to call it. That's what they're um, calling it, I think. Yeah, with a large bank who can handle giving you a one percent. Okay. Um, you do not have to already, then from that account, you can transfer funds or wire transfer funds or take out funds and put it in any bank you want. Okay. And I think, I think it would be a good idea to have different accounts at different banks, guys. I really so really I would just that. wait till you get there and they'll tell you what to do. Okay. All right. Let's go over to the YouTube questions on the YouTube side. The people, the freeloaders over on YouTube who don't subscribe to the Real News Live on Rumble and don't subscribe. For five dollars a month, a mere five dollars a month show. Um, Zena Anderson Hazelton, I think you both are awesome souls. Question is: Are my health issues treatable by holistic ways, or should I go to a doctor? Well, I'm never going to tell you not to go to the doctor. The information that I receive is for you to share with your doctor to find the root of the problem. Um, but there are many wonderful remedies. Um, that would be helpful for you. You'd have to do some research on that, but I would go to the doctor and find out what the problem is and then research how you can treat it um, in more holistic ways. Yeah, I do think that, um, I agree. I concur. I think you got to use holistic methods and, uh, and medical science. Uh, for instance, the problem I was having with my head, which I'm still having a little bit, Roy's going to knock it out. Okay. And so why fuck, why mess around with herbs right. and spices and Colonel <laughs> Sanders? And For stuff. instance, I stop every time I go to the dentist, they're like, oh, your, your gaps, you know, oh, you've got some gaps in those. And I hate that part of it. And then they're, and they're like, well, and so I'm like, so I stopped using fluoride toothpaste because I noticed when I would use a lot of fluoride or, or rinses or other things, my gums seem very loose. They'd be very soft. Mm -hmm. And so I switched over to something that uh, Edgar Casey actually, a formula they got from his um, readings called um, IPSAB toothpaste. Hard to find now. Um, do not get the charcoal one. It's okay. But anyway, once I started using that, my gums tightened up. It's not a problem. Okay. And every time now, if I, if I run out of that and I start using a regular toothpaste, they get loose again. Well, all right, guys. Isn't so, that interesting? And who doesn't want tight gums out there, ladies? We all do. Uh, just don't want you to have tight gums because then they make money off of you getting things in there. Okay. Well, really um, so Jen, would you mind texting me that tooth, naming that toothpaste later? Does it taste good? Well, I bought you some, or I told you to buy some over Amazon, and then you and they shipped you the what was it, the um, charcoal one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it tastes like crap, but it really heals your teeth and your gums. Um, it's like salt and soda and iodine and something else. Um, right. But it's I've been using it for like a year and 
It's like you use it once a day. Uh, hey guys, great talks. Thanks a million. And thanks Mike for those moon and Mars talks on UNAM. I don't remember what those are. Send me those. Cause if somebody's making money off of me, I'd like to know about it. Um, uh, Kathleen Abel Perez. Good Wednesday to all Hunter is Hunter on the run yet. Is he going to run, Jen? Is he going to run away? Going to run away and go into hiding? Or? No, he can't run. Yeah. Can't they run pull him out when he's needed. They pull him out when he's needed. Uh, Beth Buckley. Hi, Jen and Mike. Please help me with my daughter, Kylie. She f- fell down the stairs at college. The doctor put her in a boot and crutches, but she's still in a lot of pain and swelling has not subsided. Can we do a healing on Beth? Yeah, but it's a pretty normal situation and it will go down and she will she heals pretty fast. Okay. Um she's, she's she'll be fine. Yeah. Um okay. Rick Norman. Mike, last night I mistyped on a comment. I meant to type the Canarius Tony and Kelsey didn't know about the flag until he crossed in the end zone. Oh yeah, after actually, yeah. It, we, we were talking about um geez, we spent about 15 minutes on this whole set up how this play was very suspiciously scripted in the game and then some referee came along and screwed it up by calling a penalty but i think it's again i'm going to reiterate i think that they're now exposing how corrupt our sports are as as well as many other things uh Lori yoder jen do you get a feeling about the obama produced movie leave the world behind I'm hearing Obama rushed to produce it for um, some reason. And Carissa also had a question. What is the purpose of the movie Leave the World Behind? The Obama movie. Basically, this is a movie where all communications gets cut off, civilization collapses, there's a civil war, and uh, the black people kill all the white people. Oh. Well, how Produced by the you? Obamas, yeah. Um, what a lovely movie for Christmas It's a movie time. about the destruction of the United States produced by the Obamas. Mike, Mike and Barry. It's to make you afraid of anybody who stands up and wants to change the way things are with our government and the way things your life is gone, the way your life is gone with all these bad people in power. So they're going to shout you, oh my God, these people came up. They're trying to destroy about how much- the whole world. Yeah, think about how much worse it'll be if we let them in. Foreshadowing. Good, good, yeah. Foreshadowing, but I don't think they have the power to execute it. Lisa Western, wow, Mike Bear 333, you sound great this morning. Hope you're feeling better and glad, Jenna. Well, I I didn't realize I sounded so bad on Monday or Tuesday, but I do feel better after my first day. No, what I'm saying is it's a, we've seen it in the news many times. They'll start talking about something ahead of time. Right. So that you have a certain opinion, if it should and, and when it should happen. Like Donald, oh, all oh, the conspiracy theorists. They're crazy. Oh, they're trying to take over the government. Or they're trying to do this and that. So they come out with the scenarios like leave the world behind. And it probably has people in it uh, like us, you know, with all our theories. And people who want to take certain people out of office, people who want to expose. And they'll probably make it look like, oh, you know, like, oh, it's all fake. And then now they've ruined the entire world and everything's going to crap. And that's what I mean by foreshadowing. Um, Another thing, dark side. Everywhere I look, there's something about the Grinch this season. Why is that? Why is that? Because we're all just about to actually enjoy ourselves for a short moment and have a nice Christmas. You know, we don't have the pandemic. We don't have anything major going on. We got to have something so that people just don't get too happy or start caring about Jesus again. Well, let's let's throw the Grinch in every store and every window on every commercial and all the decorations so everybody can say bah humbug to Christmas. Why? Because it's Jesus. To birthday. bring down the vibration and keep you away from Jesus. But I will remind everyone... And in the end, the Grinch had his heart healed by Jesus, by God, by the love of a girl. So don't forget that part of it. I see. Th- I don't know. This is why I can't watch TV. Yeah, no, but I, I hear like, you. Well, but, like, this but, is what it really means. And they're like, Mom. Well, no, I'm just saying that that was what happened at the end. In the end, the, even the Grinch couldn't fight it. Yeah. 
True. And, and, every, and they all sang, and that was cute. The spirit cute. That was of cute. Christmas overwhelmed even the Grinch. Okay, I gotta ask you a quick question, sports question. Last week, last Sunday, the Kansas City Chiefs played the Buffalo Bills on Sunday Night Football, most watched game of the weekend. Uh, near the end of the game, there was a play where the Chiefs lined up. They were they were down. They were da- down four points, five points. The only way they're going to win is with a touchdown. Um, it's less than a minute to play. They throw the ball downfield to Travis Kelsey, who is this you know great great player, great receiver. He's the one who's dating Taylor Swift. Anyway, he's part of the NFL inside. He catches the ball. Now, in football, you're allowed to throw multiple passes as long as they're backwards. It's called the lateral, but you can only throw one forward pass. But what he did is he caught the ball, and then he turned around before he was tackled, and there was another receiver running open, and he threw the ball backwards to him. He caught it and ran for a touchdown. This is an exact duplicate of a play that won a playoff game in 2005 or 2006 in Tennessee called the um, Music City Miracle, where there was a kickoff. It was the last play of the game. Frank Wycheck, a tight end, gets the kickoff. He turns around and laterals across the field to a guy who runs down the field to beat, wait for it, the Buffalo Bills in this playoff game. Frank Wycheck was announced as having died that morning, that morning and Sunday at the age of only 52. This was an exact duplicate of the play Frank Wycheck made to win the game 15 years ago, 20 years ago. Um, I want to know if there were, and now the play was disallowed because there was a penalty that a ref called and the chiefs were so furious about it as if there's no way you can call that play back. That was supposed to happen. I want to know, was this scripted by, was this something the Kansas City Chiefs thought of as an homage to this guy? Or was this something the NFL was trying to script to create one of those, oh my God, moments? I'm not explaining it, maybe, very well. Was there something more nefarious? It wasn't uh, scripted, as you run here and catch this and do that. Um I mean, it was a play. Um, there's something about the penalty that's not right. Well, the penalty was the correct call, but they were. The, here's the thing: the Chiefs were so upset that my impression was you weren't supposed to call a penalty on that play. Is what I got. You were supposed to let that play go, no matter what, because it was. I, okay, so you're saying it was not. A prearranged ending. I, I, my impression is it was a prearranged ending by higher powers than simply the guy calling the plays for the Kansas City Chiefs. Something going on there. There is something. a little something going on. Okay, interesting. All right. Um, okay, Jen, my uh, husband Michael got a voice message on his phone from his brother Eli, who has been passed for three years. There was no sound. Was this really from him or something else? That's awesome. I love it when stuff like that happens. Was there a song that he recently asked him? Was there a song that he recently heard that reminded him of his brother? Yes. He was contacted that. I love it. I've heard that happen before. Yeah. Okay. There's lots of people who have had that experience. And yes. And I'll bet that if you could get that recording off that phone and into a computer that you can analyze, I bet at very high frequency, very low frequency, very high volume, very low volume, that you would hear a voice in there. I bet you... The, Send me the audio. Is. I have the um I have the you just the software to do it. You've just got to be able to get the voicemail onto a computer and have somebody who knows how to do sound analysis check I need it. an I, MP3. I, I Send hmm? me an MP3 and I can I can um amplify things quite a bit. And Jen's gonna do it. All right, that's if I get time. Cool. That's cool. But yeah, of course it's a sign. It's a sign. Kathy Nabella Perez, taking a drive. Chemtrails all over here in Burlington, North Carolina. I haven't seen this many in a while. Jen, what do you think they're doing around here? Is there any special project going on, or is it just atmospheric conditions? 
There is something going on. It's not harmful. Okay. All right. Let's talk back to, to Rumble. Um, oh, Susan Clemens is now a monthly supporter. $5 a Thank month. You. Thank you, Susan. We appreciate that. We'd like to get to just 100 subscribers to start with and then work on 1,000. But Susan says, hi, Jen. Do you see my son, Will, having a safe and fun trip down to Southern California this weekend? He's visiting a school that he may transfer. Will Will, Susan's son, Will, have a safe and fun trip to California this week? Keep an eye on the weather. Um, I don't see anything bad happening. Uh, I don't know how much fun he has. I feel like half of it's fun and half of it's kind of not. So I don't know what's going on there. It doesn't seem like anything serious. Mama McGraw. Hey, Mike, for your pet health guests, please ask what to do for our elderly pooches. Our girl is having a time with her hip. It rains. If it rains or turns cold, she moves slower and favors that side. Uh, come on to the live stream CBD. tomorrow. CBD. Yeah, well, the, we've, they've got products. Come, these are mushroom-based, too. They're really cool. But anyway, um, come on. And, and if you can, and if not, I will not be deleting this that live stream for tomorrow off of YouTube. Um, okay, Lucy Red, Little Red Castle says, Hi, Jen, my eyes are itchy and tear, tear up all the time. Am I allergic to the cat dust or something else? I cannot wear makeup for the last several months because my eyes tear even when I am out. Uh, that's Lucy. All right. I want to address something really quick um, and ask me that again. Um, when you asked me about the dog, yeah. I want to know if anybody's heard of this because it could be totally wrong. So don't go start doing it until we know more. I saw liquid silver. Oh, colloidal silver. For it's the colloidal. dog with the arthritis problems. Has anybody heard anything about that? And can we do that? Because I've got an old dog with arthritis problems. Yeah. Um, colloidal silver is, um, is great for people and, um, and dogs and kitties. And yeah. It's great. Yeah. Okay. Look into it. Um, oh, I forgot to take that. All right. What was that question? Well, hang on. I forgot to take that question off. Okay, good. Uh, back to the question. It was, Lucy says her eyes are itchy, tear up all the time. Is she allergic to the cat or is dust or something else, else going on? She can't even wear makeup. I think you do have just a slight little infection going on in the tear ducts there. Um, I do think that it doesn't look green though. I mean, um, maybe get some allergy drops for the eyes. I also um, have seen across the board people having a real hard time when they pull the Christmas decorations out of the garage this year. I don't know if we all got dust allergies after COVID or what, but it's well, everybody's having a problem with it. That's what the doctor said. My sinus infection likely is that my, and you, this is, he said exactly what you said, by the way, Jen, when I went to the doctor the other day, Monday, he said, yeah, your uh, sinuses got dry and they cracked and a bunch of dust got in there and it got infected. That's probably what happened. So what you said is exactly what he said. I just want you to know. Mm -hmm. Should have told you that straight up front. All right. We got to go quick. We just got a couple minutes left. Uh, Ivana Curry, um, Ivana wants to know, Little Red Castle, $5 a month subscriber, when will the state of Texas make an offer on our house? My house is up for imminent domain to widen a road. Will it work in our favor? Second month of the year, February. First I got a two, and then I heard February. Okay. Um. Fluoride destroys the pineal gland. I use Dr. Flo Sheffield's fluoride. For I don't think it can destroy your pineal gland from your, through your teeth, but okay. Uh, that's why I drink filtered water. David Murtos, Jen, I need help. Little Red Castle, $5 a month subscriber, David Murtos. What does my wife Jackie secretly want for Christmas? She's so hard to buy for. That is the best use of a psychic I have heard in a long time, David. Uh what is there something Jackie Christmas. Christmas? What does Jackie want for Christmas? Well, now, man, you need to pay attention. 
And when your wife says, oh, I love that, when you're out somewhere, it's snapshot that and put it in your phone or write it down or something. We do this, we tell you, and you don't listen, okay? Um, get her something warm, he said. So, um, I don't know. I don't want to see my the head, blanket things that she could just like snuggle up in and you know, get her one of those. Uh, get her something warm. Okay. Uh, so, of course, David, that means lingerie. Buy her lingerie. She'll no. love that. That's what she wants. Do not buy uh, your wife uh, over. 40 lingerie. And <laughs> he says, uh, I we use like Claudia to pick Silver. our own stuff out when it comes to that. Okay. Uh, I use Claudia Silver and Ivermectin on my dog with cancer, and the combo has kept her with us the last two years. Shut That's up. Today. Claudia Silver is good stuff. <clears throat> That's divine. I did not know that. I saw liquid silver. Let's um, see if it works for arthritis. Little Red Castle there. Danae, David, you already got a question. Will she be able to buy? I don't have time for that. We're almost there. Uh, heavy feather, Jan. I have two cats, Home Slice and Jane. They're both 15 and 16 years, they're 15 and 16 years old. They won't stop peeing in the house. Is there something I can do? I don't know your name. I wish we gave you gave us your name. Heavy From feather. outside, I mean, like, <laughs> I don't know what to do about the cats. If they're not fixed, you got to get them fixed. Uh, that's the biggest mistake people make is they don't fix their male cats and then they spray. Yeah. Now, um, put a go and get like four different litter boxes and make sure they're absolutely clean and go and put them on top of the spot where they're doing that. Okay. You know, and then if it doesn't work out, move. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yeah. Burn the house down. You know, like it's such a it's such a problem when a when a a pet. It gets it in their head that this is my spot to go. Right, right. So okay, guys. Does it, um, it does it right out in front of the door in the dining room. Thank God um, it's in the dining room. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? I mean, like, I let you out a million times a day. Yeah. Well, it's a dominance thing because it's close to where my husband sits at the kitchen table when he's there. And he only does it when Brett is there. So he's trying to have ownership over him. And he's a shepherd, and so he won't do it when I'm when it's just me. Okay, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today. If you want to get your questions in first and guaranteed to get them in, get over there, get a $5 run subscription on Rumble, Real News Live, help us pay the bills. And do not forget, tomorrow I will be back with um, my guest, Dinah, Diana and um, Kristen from Pet Club 24-7, and we will be going over uh, their products. Barkley absolutely loves them. And uh, this is the new website. It is Mike Barra Pets, My Pet Club 247.com. And go on over there to uh, preview some of the products. We'll be doing the live stream tomorrow with Diana from the Boulder Christmas House and Kristen, and uh, we will be going over all these new cool products for your health. And yes, they are going to be a little bit of a sponsor. So if you do um, buy stuff through them, it'll help the show. And I would greatly appreciate that. So be back tomorrow, same bat time, 10 a.m. with PetClub247.com. Jen and I will be back on Monday, unless Jen gets it in her craw to like answer questions on a free read Friday for the yes, Rumble like only crawl. subscribers, which we've talked about. I have an announcement. Um, some of you are coming up on the end of your yearly healings. A lot of people will get them bi-weekly house cleanses, cleanses for the family, um, healings. Remember that those are um, a lot of you are ending um, at the end of December. So you need to email me if you'd like to continue that and we will make you a deal. The more you do, the more you save. JenniferFalaw.com. YouTube is Jennifer Falaw. Doring Philosophy on Telegram. Mike Barra, 33, three, something like that on Telegram for me. Jennifer Falaw Doring also on Telegram. Follow us over there on Telegram. Get over to Real News Live on Rumble. Sign up. $5 a month would be really cool. Jen, if we could just get, you know, a few hundred people be great it'd be great that'd be it'd awesome be it'd be the, it's the best way to contribute also i want to thank people like joe evans and so forth who do continue yes. to contribute through various other sources we do see that we do appreciate you 
on Zelle and Cash App. I think I have, uh, yeah, I'm MikeBear.blogspot.com, Real News Live on Rumble, Telegram, um, MikeBear33, Instagram, MikeBear333, and at MikeBear333 on Twitter. Although my Twitter is not for the fame put it that way it's not the main part and yeah uh you can still get money to jen and i through cash app m dollar sign ember 33 and zell ember 33 and msn.com we appreciate and love each and every one of you except for skefla you're a little queer bait but we love the rest of you thanks for being here jen and i'll be back on monday and you know let's hope and continue to pray that we get some interesting stuff and i will have a little bit of a news update tomorrow morning before the uh pet stream and i will be putting pet stream out on various social media link this afternoon sometime jen do you have something else? uh next week we need to talk about the christmas week and the uh new year's week schedule for me because i may not be here for a few shows yeah um well yeah monday is christmas the 25th is a monday so we're not gonna be doing a show that day and so is the first but that Wednesday, the 27th, I'm probably not going to be here either. Well, the first I'm going to be extremely hungover from the New Year's Eve party down at uh, Fremont Street, which is where Dave and I are going to be drinking and hopefully making out with some girl at midnight. Some random girl. Take your ivermectin, boys. See you then. We'll see, we'll see you back here on Monday. Love you.